The Phoenix metro area is very large and spread out. And if you're moving here and you're trying to find the best place for you and your family, it can be a very complicated process and it can be very overwhelming. But at the same time, if you break it down and you have the right resources, you can make this whole process so much easier and actually maybe a little fun along the way. Typically there are four or five different categories that people research on when they're looking to make that move. If you're making a drastic move across the country, I'm here to help of course, but you're going to want to do a lot of research. I am going to break down in this video some of the different websites that I use and I recommend on these categories and we're going to walk through that in a little bit more detail. Stay tuned, that's up next. Before we get into the detail of the video, there's a few different ways we can connect. Email, text, and a video conference call which Zoom, you are all familiar with it, but that makes it pretty easy because we can see each other and we can walk through what you're looking for and I can give you a little bit more background on the different areas. Text is easy as well. We can start with text and we can move on from there too. So whatever is easiest for you, all the information is listed below and also in the description of this video. All right, we're gonna jump over to the laptop here and I'm gonna share my screen. This first website is called crimecommunitymap.com and I'm going to drill into Arizona here and into the Phoenix area and I'm going to show you just a few different things. This is, you can see a lot of the dots there, drilling this in a little bit more. Crime is a big obvious concern or safety in the area that you're going to be living in. So you want to check out the different communities and the areas and see what's safe and what kind of crimes are going on in your area. So I'm just going to go into We'll pick an area right in here and you can just I'm gonna drill a little bit more so you can see what is going on. But this is an area of Scottsdale. If I click on this little green dot here. There's a motor, th motor vehicle theft. So there's some theft there and we have the brown. What is the brown circle here? Brown is, I'm gonna click on that. And this is a grocery, well, this is a theft as well. So you can get a little bit more detail. You're just not gonna show you everything just for privacy reasons, but and then we have, um, there's some, you know, if there's any like a sexual assault, that sort of thing, you can find that, all that out on this website here, the crimecommunitymap.com. But it, you could, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just navigate around the map and you can see a little bit more detail on each component of what's going on. I drilled in a little bit more to the map to make some of these icons a little bit bigger. Um, this is another, the green one's a, a theft. And then we have the orange one here is an assault, aggravated assault. And what else do we have? Another theft. And then the, the SA, the blue one is a sexual assault. So you can kind of tell, to get a feel for what the area is. And again, you got to take this with a grain of salt. You want to do a little bit more research and kind of combine all these together. Next, we have the bestneighborhood.org website. And there's a couple of key items that are really helpful here. We have best neighborhoods, which can be a real loose term, best by what does best really mean? So in this one, this kind of counterintuitive, there's a tab for best neighborhoods and then there's one for household income. They're, in my eyes, they're a little bit kind of the same what they were showing here. But as you look to the bottom of this map, you'll see high value is darker green and then more of a yellow, and then a red would be your lower value. And this is, you can see Gilbert, Chandler, Mesa, and then we have, as you go over here more, this is the greater Phoenix area, Tempe. So you can see the, the areas of color by income levels. Actually, it's the best. Now we're gonna flip over to this tab here, and this site does have some ads on it, so. That can be a little annoying, but it's a pretty helpful website. Now this is the household income. And if you, I'm gonna make this map a little bit smaller and you can see there's Chandler and there's some red in there, which is will be a little on the lower side for income. And then you see, if as you see a lot of the green, if you get into Northern Phoenix or uh, the East Valley, a lot of, you know, Gilbert, some of those areas, you can see a lot of green. So you can see, you know, when you do your, do you want your neighbors to be, there's a lot of red in this side of Mesa here, some of the Phoenix area, but if you go, oops, let's go towards up into the Northern part of Scottsdale. And that's just a lot of wealth up there. So you can see a lot of carefree, a lot of the green there, but 
This is just another helpful website. You can even go to politics, which I thought this was somewhat interesting because it's showing we don't need the ad here. There we go. This is showing a lot of pink, which is a little bit of the middle of even, not necessarily blue or red, but as you expand this, expand this out a little bit more, you'll see that it does, it does turn a little bit different color as you make this, um, so Phoenix is a little bit smaller dot. But another helpful website, bestneighborhoods.org. Then next we have the niche.com website, and also you have greatschools.org. Those are two of the better websites that I found for schools and just in general in neighborhoods. But on niche.com here, I just went to best places to live. You can see that little category right here. But then as I scroll through, Chandler is very highly rated. You can see here on the website, Chandler, number one, best suburbs to live in the Phoenix area. Then Gilbert, Scottsdale, not surprising at all. Paradise Valley, which is off the charts as far as what income is and what the values are compared to the rest, of the, even to the other top, like Chandler and Gilbert, Litchfield Park, and then Tempe. So you can see, let's look at the map here too, as long as we're there, in case you're not familiar with Chandler and Gilbert, we're all like the whole breakdown of the metro area. Let's drill in this a little bit. This is, oops, this is, let's zoom out a little bit. This is the whole Phoenix metro area there, obviously. Let's drill in a little bit more. And we have the whole East Valley here, Queen Creek, and then we have Chandler, Gilbert, Mesa, Tempe, Scottsdale. But each one of these is huge. Tempe is huge, Scottsdale is huge. Scottsdale runs mainly from in this area, right just on the other side of Tempe, right around the 202, all the way past the 101 here, all the way up just right before old Cave Creek. I think it's 27 miles long, somewhere, in the, something like that. It's a little bit more narrow, but it's super long. Same with Tempe, Mesa. Mesa is one of the largest suburbs in all of Arizona, and it's one of the, the largest suburbs in all of the United States. So those are pretty safe, best places to live in the Phoenix area, Mesa. Or actually, let's go back to that list again one more time. We have, this is niche.com. Right here, it's Chandler, Gilbert, Queen Creek, Scottsdale. I don't actually, Queen Creek didn't make it, but they're right up there as well. And then let's also go to the schools, greatschools.org here. You can also type in um, all kinds of information here and do a little bit more research on that. Top rated schools, let's go there. And then you can also look through here. But actually, let's go back to the niche.com and let's just click on Chandler and you could see the overall rating on schools, housing, good for families. And, and the crime and safety is always one that's a little bit harder than how they're rating that because I don't feel unsafe in the Chandler area at all, but there's always, there's good and bad with all different cities and, and different communities, but it's overall a, a rating, which is not too bad. All the links to the websites are listed in the video below, including some playlists on different neighborhood spotlights I've already covered. Lots of them out there. There's a lot more coming as well. If you have a question on a specific area I've not covered already, list that in the comments or just shoot me a text. Feel free to give me a phone call, also email, and the last option is a video conference call. So many options, right? Whatever is easiest for you, let's connect, and I'll talk to you in the next video.